Scientists say that the first laugh was 16 million years ago. Apparently, it stemmed from laboured breathing when being tickled. Laughter was more of a survival tactic as relationships with each other became more important as we evolved. It means that when we laugh, it's not because something's funny, it's because we want to connect. I saw that on TikTok. I smiled while watching it, sighed through my nose when reading the comments. A sort of lazy laugh, mimicking the emojis that lit at the screen. The worst part is I almost like it. At the very least, I don't want to quit it. I've grown to crave it. No one's fault but my own. I'm the one providing the information for its algorithm. My life reduced to pixels and binary. Even my education, my identity, my beliefs. Speaking of, I am of the firm belief that autobiography books will soon go out of fashion to be replaced by transcripts of Google searches and collected data. Now, that will be true to life and a very interesting read. My search history is my personal timeline. I don't believe in a soul, but I think all the cookies collected about me has the components of one, a senile form of immortality. Now, if I'm lucky and remember to tick the correct boxes in the terms and conditions, I'll be deleted after 28 days or whatever the number is, instead of living my days out in the database being juggled between shareholder wallets or maybe rather simply I'll live forever on a 10 gigabyte USB drive, if I'm even worth that much space. Connection has updated. It's not symbolized by a laugh, but with four strong signal bars, unlimited 5G. I wish I could say I was mad about it, but everything evolves, including how we make ourselves happy. Nothing has really changed. We're still trying to communicate some form of togetherness, regardless of whether it's genuine or not. Just like you can tell a fake laugh from a real one. It gets me thinking, if something as simple as laughing and connecting can change so rapidly, what else can? I remember being told that everyone has a personal heaven, even pets. Just like happiness and laughter, will that evolve too? Will historians look back and think, wow, they were lucky to die? Maybe heaven could become code too. Would deletion be dying all over again? I don't know what I'm talking about really. I hope we can still laugh even if it grows out of fashion. That 
being said. I always thought binary looked like lopsided mouths opening and closing. <laughs>